All right, what do we have here? Let's play this. Don Lemon, don't play with my Jesus. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tater Store. The Officer Tater Store, get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make uh, a video. Make sure you uh, that reminds me, subscribe to Atheist Republic, please, and also hit the notification bell. And also, I'm live streaming this on Twitch and then release it later on YouTube. So link to our Twitch in the description as well. So check that out. And also, become a patron. Thank you. Still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. And ladies and yes, gentlemen, share, share let's this get into this. Share Don this. Lemon, I had to make another video about you. I was going to let you go. I was going to give you about a week. But then somebody shared a video with me, uh, shared a video with me of you saying that Jesus wasn't perfect. Ah, what, who are no, somebody said that. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? What Jesus are you talking about? Because I know you're not talking about the Jesus of the Bible. Oh, yeah. And this is what makes me mad, man. These phony, fake individuals that try to perceive or use Christ to push their agenda and they may have they may have imagine a Christian telling you that somebody is using Christ for their agenda <laughs> like there's level of self-awareness here and look what is he what is he so okay so this is what he's upset about how dare you disagree with me that's what this is the right-wing people telling everybody how sensitive and snowflakely Left-wing people are the hand they get triggered. And somebody like, oh, you think Jesus is perfect? I don't think Jesus is perfect. <gasps> no. How? Oh, my God. Why did you do? How could you sit? Are you talking about my Jesus? My Jesus? Is this not like the right-wing people being triggered? Like, they talk about, oh, my God, these left-wing people, they have their safe spaces and stuff like that. And they're like, they have built, like, institutions and laws and walls around people and limitations on how people could talk about the religion. And then they dare talk about safe spaces when it comes to left-leaning people. I've never read the Bible. There is, I mean, the fundamental principles of Christianity is that Jesus was perfect. Remember? Yeah, and, and, so, yeah, it's, and you're fundamentally wrong. When he said he was without sin, cast the first stone, that means that he was the only one that did not sin. Now, I'm going to give you scriptures. Actually, this guy doesn't even know Christianity. If he knew like how to, uh, if he know his own religion, he would know that, that that verse in the Bible was added at least 150 years after the, uh, the final versions of the Bible. That's, that's not even part of the original Bible. That was just added to the Bible for, you know, so he probably doesn't know that. The cast the first stone story. I'm gonna give you some scriptures. I got some scriptures right here. I'm gonna read scriptures to you. Okay. And I hope Don Lemon can listen to this. And maybe, maybe this is a little Bible study for him. Don Lemon, in case you were in your mind thinking that Jesus admitted that he wasn't perfect, let me read you scriptures from the Bible. You know how uh, some people say, like, oh my god, I can't believe atheists are still stuck in that um, you know, early. I don't know, when was the new atheist movement? Uh, the, stuck in the 2000s when they're still talking about um, the dumbest theistic arguments. Um, oh, like, oh, it's not true. Just because something is in the Bible, that doesn't make it true. And we're like, oh, how you guys are still posting memes about that? Like, are you serious? Like, can't you move past that? There's better arguments to have. Well, you know why we're still having those arguments, those dumb arguments? Because it's in response to these dumb claims. P the Christians are still making like, you know, oh, yeah, Christ Jesus was perfect. Why? Well, because it says so in my Bible. Like, they haven't evolved past that yet. So, obviously, we still need to counter this dumb, dumb, stupid. Uh, we, yeah, we'll stop pointing out how dumb these arguments are when they stop making these dumb arguments. This is his evidence. Like, Oh, he, he, this has got you like, oh, Don Lemon, you're so wrong. You know what? Here's here's the Bible. Like, okay, that that's my that was that's what makes it right. Like, that's your evidence. That's a claim. Yeah, we know that that's a claim. You know, we know that's where you're making that. This is the claim that you have. Just showing us where you found the claim that doesn't make your claim valid. I mean, it seems stupid for me to even say this, given how dumb... I can't believe this person is re recommended to me by some of the people in the comment section of our previous video as somebody that, that is 
smart that I need to listen to? Like, look at how dumb these arguments are. But let's see. Okay, let's bring up. You know what? I'm. Go- he has his Bible verses. I, let's let's just not even go past the Bible. Okay, let's just assume the Bible. Okay, fine. The, let's just use the Bible only to judge Jesus. So he's going to give us some Bible verses. I'll give you some other Bible verses once he's done. Let's read. Okay. First Peter 2, 22. It says, he committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. Matthew 5, 4, and 8. Must be true. You it's therefore the Bible. must be perfect as your heaven. You can't argue with that. It's written in the Bible. There's no, that we're done. Okay. It says so right there. Must be true. Heavenly Father is perfect, relating to the fact that Jesus and the Father are one, meaning that Jesus was perfect. All right, what? let's go. John. There you go. Done. First John. Why are you bring us more? You're done. You know that he appeared to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. I got more scriptures for oh, you. Oh no, he has more. There's Second more, guys. Corinthians 5 21. For our sake, he made himself sin. He made himself be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. <gasps> I got more. I got more. There's more, even more. First Peter 1 and 19. But that with the precious blood of Christ, like that of the Lamb, without blemish or spot. I got one more. I got one more. See, I see, said he was done. When you're talking he about Jesus, you need scriptures. Yes, okay. And I'm okay. showing you right here. Don Lemon is free Bible study. You ain't got to pay me nothing. I'm not taking no offering. Oh, you so need to generous. just listen. Okay. Matthew 4 and 15. For we do not have high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who is every respect, who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Mm. Okay. I think I need to take off. Yeah, let me actually, before I can t- finish this video, I'm going to give my Bible verses too, okay? He says we need to do Bible study. Okay, okay, let's, let's do the Bible study. All right, I have a Bible verse right here. This is Matthew 21. Okay, you could just read from verse 18 to 19. This one says, Early in the morning, as Jesus was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up, to it but found nothing except leaves then he said to it may you never bear fruit again and immediately the tree withered that's not insane at all is it like oh the tree doesn't have fruit i'm hungry curse the goddamn tree curse it because i was hungry and it didn't have fruit that's pretty normal not at all insane behavior, okay? Let's go to the next Bible verse. Matthew 10, 34. Jesus says, this is what something Jesus said, okay? Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not, cre- I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Very peaceful, very loving religion. Religion of peace. Unlike Islam, which is very violent, the Bible seems to be promoting peace, except the part that it says exactly that it's not bringing peace. What is this one? Matthew 10, 35. I just have a few, by the way. There's a there, there's shit ton of crazy in the Bible. Uh, and the New Testament. You don't have to go to, oh, like the Old Testament was horrible, but the New Testament is good. No, no, no. The New Testament is worse. Matthew 10, from. The verse 35 to 38 says, For I have to for I have come to turn a man. This is what Jesus is saying. This is Jesus telling you what he's here for. Okay. He's telling you, like, if you just in case you were not sure, okay, Jesus is telling you, I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the member of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Jealous much, Jesus? Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. If you love Jesus, but you look at your own daughter and be like, oh my God, I don't love I did anybody in the world. This is my life. This is my world. I love my daughter more than anyone else in the world. You are Jesus is like, fuck you. Fuck you. How dare you love your own daughter more than me? 
That's Jesus. That's not insane at all. Not insane. Completely normal behavior. Rational, peaceful Jesus. This one. 2 Thessalonians 1, 8, uh, chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. Is it? Uh, did I do a Trump? No. Um, he will. He will punish those. Okay. He he will punish those who do not know God, and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Okay. So but this verse is referring to what Jesus will do. Okay. This is. They will. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, God and Jesus are the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. They will they will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut um, and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His might. I know this is doesn't this doesn't seem shocking to people, but this is actually my main problem with the uh, New Testament is that is the popularizing the idea of torturing people for eternity. Just because, and again, people say no, do hell is for just bad people. The crime, apparently, according to uh, so, uh, many Bible verses, is that they just did not know God and did not obey the gospel. Okay, so just remember, according to Jesus, all the Hindus, all the Muslims, all the atheists, of course, um, you know, all, they all they're just going to be punished ever for, with everlasting destruction. Everlasting destruction. It seems pretty fair, right? You disagree with me? Oh, you like the same you, people think like, oh, Christianity is what about, about forgiving people, forgiving people. But apparently Jesus himself didn't get the memo and he wants to torture people forever for the crime of not knowing God. Very, uh, yeah. Here's another not at all insane Bible verse. Mark uh, nine, chapter 9, verses 43 to 48, saying, if your hand causes you to stumble, cut off, cut it off, just cut it off. If it is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell where the fire never goes out. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled um, than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eyes causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. So if you ever see somebody like gouging their eye out because they were like, oh, I was looking at this really hot girl and I was bidding tempt, I was like lusting over them and I don't want to go to hell, so I'm just basically gouging my eye out so just to make sure I don't burn in hell. If you ever think like, oh my God, that is insane. What the hell? This guy is like cutting off parts of their body. Like what the hell? This person needs help? Like, no, 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 no. That's not insane. That's what Jesus is telling you to do, okay? That's not insane at all. Completely normal behavior. Completely very loving, very peaceful. Not at all insane, okay? So I have my Bible verses as well. I mean, this guy believes in the Bible, so I don't know. So let's see what he says. Or maybe I do need to take an offer. Don Lemon, you need to read your Bible. I, you probably yeah, I agree. own the Bible. Read the Look Bible. it up on your phone. You can download the Bible app. I gave you scriptures. Don't ever get on TV. I gave you my scripture as well. Oh, look, what are you saying? Don't ever get on TV. Why? TV again and say Jesus wasn't perfect. Don't, don't, don't ever get on TV and try to push a lie and a fraudulent agenda. When you don't know nothing about Christ, you know nothing. You don't know nothing about Christ, man. You don't know anything about Christ. You know what? Fuck your Christ. Fuck your Jesus. Nothing about God. Don't blaspheme God on CNN. Fuck, don't let don't Jesus. let yourself get in trouble on Judgment what Day you because you want to pander on CNN. And the fact that I did not hear Cuomo correct him, that's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, they think how Cuomo dare they? That's Triggered. a problem, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope that everybody watching the CNNs. That's supposed to be a Christian. I hope that you realize what he said, and he should apologize for that. Oh no! Because you totally misrepresented the body of Christ by claiming something false on national TV, knowing that you probably don't have no relationship with God. Now I don't know. I don't know what relationship he have, but it doesn't sound like he have a relationship if you don't even know that 
the premise of Christianity is that Jesus was perfect. And it's Jesus wrong. was without this is why sin, your entire the sacrificial is wrong. lamb for us all, perfect, so that we, we, an example of us, he has to be perfect, a perfect sacrifice. Y'all know the whole thing. Yeah. All you got to do is go to church three times, you'll figure that out. But anyway, I can make a video about this for three or four hours. Don't play with my Jesus. Fuck your Don't Jesus. Don't play with Jesus. Fuck you can your play Jesus. with, you can do everybody, you can mess with everybody else. No, you can no, go no. Muhammad, you can go to Buddha, you can talk about everybody wanna, else. Don't talk about Jesus. I want to talk about Jesus. All right. Stop we me. Got, we got that. Come at me. Huh? Come at me. We, we come, at, come at me. Okay. Stop just, me. Make, just making sure. Yeah. Y'all uh, comment in the comment section. What do you think about what I just said? Did Don Lemon get school right there? Does he need to go to Bible study? Oh my god. Yeah, go to Bible study and actually read your goddamn Bible to figure out how how dumb and moronic and barbaric and violent your backward ancient religion is. Anyways, guys. Subscribe, hit the notification, share this, share this video. Why are you not sharing? Share the video, okay? Thank you.